called kids. It treats teenagers who are addicted to drugs and to booze. In a special report beginning tonight, correspondent David Goldstein takes us inside this controversial treatment program. It's a place where adolescents turn drug addicts come for help. The first step to reuniting a family torn by drugs. But to some who have been on the inside, it was a nightmare. I definitely believe that that place, you know, brainwashes people. To me, it was a prison. There's times that I've hit people. There's times that I've been hit. The clinic is called Kids of Bergen County. Nearly 200 families from New York and New Jersey have brought their children here for help in kicking the drug habit since the clinic opened nearly three years ago. But for some, help is not what they received. I have great concern that the program has evolved into a, a definite cult here. Jim and Paula Oning moved from San Jose, California to New Jersey. Kids promised them their tough regime would work where others had failed, dry out their two children who had been on drugs since the age of seven. Eric is now 18. Shauna is 16. Both spent more than a year and a half at Kids. I've been in the program 17 days. I've done these drugs for a year. Yes, I do believe I have a drug problem. This is what they left behind just a few weeks ago. A Channel 2 News hidden camera got inside the clinic, videotaping a rap session. The children's faces are electronically concealed. Former patients say the sessions run seven days a week, some 12 hours, others up to 17 hours a day. It includes peer counseling by staff members, kids confronting kids. All the time, there is constant supervision, even when you go to the bathroom, and that's allowed only twice a day. Sleep is just a few hours a night on the average, for many at a handful of guest houses chosen by the clinic. All the time, the parents give up total control of their children, often for a year, sometimes two years, and just listen to what can happen if children disobey the rules. I was being spit on, you know what I mean, like all, like, all over my face, so spit, you know, all over my face. And, and every time I tried to wipe the spit off my face, I was restrained, you know, my arms were held. Brian Connolly worked as marketing director for the kids' program back in 1984 and says the tactics were certainly unusual. It's questionable as to whether or not a person is really a, a fully functioning human being when they leave. Uh, am I a, a, a member of, a uh, productive member of society? Or am I just, uh, you know, a cult graduate? The Onings finally pulled their children out of kids and looked for help elsewhere. Help here at the Furman Clinic in Ridgewood, New Jersey. Former director Phil Henricks has treated close to 20 children from kids. He says they may come out drug-free, but then find it hard to cope with everyday life. The kids program is uh, certainly uh, radical compared to the traditional model. They've literally been in the womb and had no bridge to the outside world or to community. Ideas here may seem controversial, but they are certainly nothing new. A program similar to this one is operated in Florida. That program is called Straight, and it has run straight into trouble with lawsuits. In 1983, a jury awarded former patient Fred Collins $220,000 in damages. He claimed he was illegally held for five months in the Florida Straight Clinic. These are scenes from that program. The children are what they call motivating. The child who motivates the strongest gets to talk at the rap sessions. Some of those same concepts are used in New Jersey because one of the same directors is involved. Dr. Miller Newton, a doctor of anthropology, was clinical director in Florida until 1983. He founded the kids program in New Jersey just a few months later. Channel 2 News has offered Dr. Newton an opportunity to respond to these allegations, but he had declined on advice of a parent's advisory committee that he says dictates policy at the clinic. He also said he cannot talk about specific individuals because children's identities must remain confidential. We also asked him to just respond about the program, and he still refused. It seems a shroud of secrecy is also part of the program, and that too worries some parents. Tomorrow, we'll look at another family that is trying to cope with life after kids. David Goldstein, Channel 2 News.